In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the Annex camera to create a depth of field and thereby, as you might be familiar with, some kind of blur into your image. Therefore, I will roughly align my model. The perspective is already enabled, that's fine. And I'd like to tilt my model slightly forward among the Y axis, which can be done quite well with the press middle mouse button in the left graphics area. And if all fits reasonably, I will now produce my camera. You can see that the camera is still very far away from my target, and it's currently almost 2 meters. For depth of field creation, we should be closer or farther away from the target, depending on how big this blurry area should be. I want my focused area to become very small, meaning the blurry area huge, and accordingly I move the camera relatively close to my target. In the case of working with depth of field, it is customary for us to define a value which defines the distance from camera to the focused point. And you will soon recognize that after having enabled depth of field, I have a focal distance here which is currently one millimeter. And in this case, one millimeter from focus point to camera is too less. Now, for example, I can take this value 850. And that's a usual manner to use target as the focus point. If the focus point shall be closer, for example, here roundabout, of course, we have to use half the value. This is particularly easier than moving the target because the picture detail and the angle fit very well. I will confirm this now. My focus point is here in this area. But before we confirm, below Aperture we have the F number here, which is currently F8. A small F number causes a tiny sharp area and a huge F number causes a huge blurry area. If I set that now to 2.8, it would probably be too small. That's why I raise this number a little bit. And I'm going to start my rendering.